Hi everyone, so I'm here to do my December favorites video and I just realized in every single video I wear black. I apologize, it's just what I wear on a daily basis usually because of work. But if you can see some shoes on the ground, try to ignore those because I'm still trying to put together my book shoe shelf thing, which is right over here. But um, <laughs> if you guys want to know the story, go follow my vlog channel. Oh, and if you're curious, I did get a haircut. I just got some more layers put in just so there was like more volume and like play to it. So that's what's different if you guys can notice at all. So let me just stop rambling because it's December favorites time. I cannot believe it. It's going to be 2014 right before you know it and <sighs> alright anyway let's just do the non beauty things first. Let's do some fashion things. I have been loving and obsessed with my scarves that I got from Charlotte Russe. Um, if you've seen my Black Friday haul video you've already seen these. Um, this one's one of my favorites. It's the kind of burnt orange um, maroon colored one. It's so pretty and I absolutely love it. It's just has the ruffles but it's still like a regular scarf and it's just very warm and it covers my chest um, so I don't get cold and I absolutely love how there's like a netting to it also. I think it adds um, a lot of like character to it. The other scarf from Charlotte Russe is this one which is just a leopard printed one. Um, I don't have a leopard scarf so this one was perfect for me and it was only five dollars because if you watch that video, all the scarves that I got that day were $5, and it's just so pretty. This one's a little more of a lightweight one, so I can wear it, you know, all day, but the other one's more of like an outside one. The last fashion item here are these boots. I absolutely love these. Um, there's not too much of a heel, but they're really good. I don't know if this is real leather. Or maybe it's faux leather, I'm not quite sure, but this is the brown pair. And I love these because they're super casual boots. You can wear with jeans, you can wear them um, with little dresses or anything like that, um, with tights and like socks or uh, leg warmers or whatever you want. But um, I really like these because these fit my calves really well. Usually um, these are too big for me, so like there's a lot of space in between and I don't like that. So these fit perfectly and I absolutely love these. Um, these are, are actually by Hush Puppies and these were the last year's um, style of boot but this year they have a very similar one because my mom picked me up another pair of these in black because I wore my black ones to death. These are my brown pairs so I wanted to show these because they're a little bit nicer than my black ones. I have to clean those up. Oh they're a hot mess. But again these are by Hush Puppies. They're so comfortable. Um, really easy on the feet. The next non-beauty favorite is this right here. It's a candle from Bath and Body Works and I've shown this probably in one previous video but it's the mint chocolate um, candle and it is a mint color and it literally smells like mint chocolate. It's amazing and if you follow my vlog channel or even if you have watched previous videos of mine, I'm obsessed with mint. When Christmas time hits, I'm obsessed with mint everything. Um, candies, candles, um, literally anything. I've only gone halfway through it so these candles last me a while. I don't burn them every day. Maybe that's why they last so long but I do enjoy this a lot, especially um, I enjoyed it for winter time. I don't know if I should just finish it up or like save it for later. I don't think candles go bad, right? You let me know down below if candles go bad because maybe I'll just save this for next year's um, like winter time. One more non-beauty item is my digital camera. This is the Canon PowerShot SD780iS. It's fairly old. It's only 12.1 megapixels. I know digital cameras these days are around 16 megapixels, so you can kind of tell how old mine is. Um, the Canon PowerShot, though, if you're looking for a handheld purse um, digital camera just for pictures and stuff, I use this camera for vlogging also, so also if you're into vlogging. This one's a great one because it's so compact, it's so small, you can um, have your videos in HD. All of my vlog videos are in 1080p, which is HD, so it's awesome. This has lasted me forever. Um, mine's in a black one, and the newer ones are really, really awesome, and there's a bunch of colors. I just stick with plain old black just because it's classic, and this one's about to die on me, but I've had this for so long I don't mind getting a new one, but I do love this to death because I throw it around and it's still alive and kicking 
right now. It's on the verge of breaking, but it's still okay for now. So the Canon Power Shots have always been so good to me. So if you're looking for a new handheld point and shoot camera, Canon Power Shots are one of the best in my opinion. So now I'm going to get into my beauty favorites. It's a foundation and it is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour hydrating foundation. I absolutely love this stuff. If you're curious, uh, I am wearing this today so the color in the bottle does not show up like what it looks like in the bottle because um, I am wearing it today but my color is in 2.2 the wear on this foundation is amazing uh, it lasts so long on my face it doesn't make me oily or greasy or anything it doesn't dry me out either it's like the perfect middle point and also it covers like a dream when I pair it with the next thing I'm going to show you which is a primer it just my face looks airbrushed and it lasts all day if you follow my Instagram one of the pictures that I posted of me and my brother on Christmas Day that was with my iPhone camera and I was wearing this foundation and the primer I'm going to show you next and my face just looks flawless like it literally I don't know if you guys can tell in this but it's just it's just flawless it's amazing when I saw this picture I was like holy crap my skin looks good next item here that I've been using all month is the cargo activating face primer I like this. I don't think it's amazing, but I think it does a really good job at holding in the foundation and just acting as a primer. And this primer actually does not have the kind of silica based, so it's not really thick in texture or silky, I guess you could say. But I do enjoy this. Um, again, on Christmas, I wore these two together and it looked amazing. So I do like this for that reason. I actually just realized I have a lot of things here to show you. So. This next one here is an Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick. This is the color that I'm wearing on my lips today and I've been wearing it quite frequently all month and this is in the color Naked. I wore this lipstick in a, another video before but it's amazing. These lipsticks are just so moisturizing and they're not sticky but they are really long wearing and um, I have a whole entire video on this so I'll link that down below or link it here in the video somewhere if you want to check out that review video but this one's in Naked and it's awesome. It's great for every day. It's kind of like that perfect pink color to wear every day so it, I enjoy that very much. Um, the next thing here, uh, I'll just do this one. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. I've been loving Smashbox lately. Have you guys noticed that? It, it's weird. Um, but yeah, I love this palette. I know this doesn't have great reviews online, but I, for some reason, enjoy this very much. Every time I do my eyeshadow with it, I love it. I get so many compliments on my eyes. Um, it does look just like a normal, ordinary, like neutral palette, but the top is mostly satins, and the bottom row here is mostly mattes, but I don't know what it is. My eyeshadow just looks amazing when I wear this palette, and again, I get so many compliments. So this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. This is their newest palette um, as of right now. Okay, so the next thing here is, I think I've shown this in uh, favorites before, but I'm going to mention it again just in case I didn't. It's the It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. It Cosmetics... I would love to work for them because I, I just love their products. I think they're amazing. And um, this is their gel eyeliner and it's an automatic, you just twist it up. This is probably one of the best ones I've ever tried for my waterline. My eyeliner usually smudges and runs on my lower lash line. But with this eyeliner, it does not do that at all. I don't know what it is or what it has in it, but it just stays on my waterline like a dream. I don't have to touch up, I don't have to worry about it. The only time it will kind of maybe run on you is if you have a really, really thick, creamy concealer um, underneath your eyes, because then it might kind of like bleed into one another, but if you don't wear super, super heavy under eye concealer, which I don't on a daily basis, I don't usually do that, but um, this stuff's good stuff. It's like $22, but it's so worth it. Um, I'm going to repurchase this again, definitely. The next thing here is this brush. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I've been adoring this brush just for my under eye concealer, just to blend it out. I absolutely love it. It gives the really flawless finish, um, as I said before, and as the name says, Flawless Concealer Brush. It's $3 on the e.l.f. website, and it's just worth it. It's I want to buy more because I love it. It's the perfect size. Um, the perfect bristle, everything, the perfect length, it's just awesome. So that's from e.l.f. Um, the next thing here is another IT Cosmetics product. It's their Brow Power. And believe it or not, I actually started using this 
um, all month rather than my Tarte Brown Mousse. You guys know, you definitely know that I love my Tarte Brown Mousse. But I have to say, this It Cosmetics Brow Power is very nice. And I already know uh, right off the bat that this is not going to be, a, you know, liked by every single person. But I personally do really like it. So um, it looks like this. It's kind of like an automatic pencil type of thing. But it has a slant to it. And um, it does have a waxy finish. So it's not going to be super, super... Um, creamy. It's more of like a drier consistency so you actually kind of have to like draw it on. So it does have a wax finish just so it can like set your eyebrows but it just the only thing I really like about this is that it makes your eyebrows grow faster and it literally does. Um, I find that it grew my eyebrows here probably oh, maybe twice as fast. Like I don't even remember but I just remember one day looking in the mirror and I'm like Oh my gosh, my eyebrows are so full now. Like, it was crazy. And the only thing that it doesn't do is it doesn't make more hair grow where the hair never grew before. Does that make sense? Um, because it definitely made my hairs right here in the middle of my eyebrow grow because there's always hair there. But if I try to, like, elongate it out a little bit um, where the hair never really grew, it's not going to just start growing, like, magically. So um, definitely works if you already have the um, brow hairs. It just makes it grow faster. I don't know what it is. It's amazing, though. So this is a universal color, so there's only one color, and I'm, it works for me because I have dark eyebrows, I guess. Last product I'm going to show you is actually um, a product that I featured for the first time in a haul video. This here is the Miss Chick blush and this one is in 06 mauve so it looks like this I showed this in my clothing and accessories online shopping haul and this was only one dollar on shopmissa.com um, I only bought one just because I didn't know if I would like them but these blushes oh my gosh they're so smooth in consistency they wear like all day they are very long lasting and they're just gorgeous the only thing I hate about it is the packaging just because it's so big like why would I ever want to carry this around, you know what I mean? But the color, this one, it looks scary and like super purple, but if you use a very light hand, which you have to because these are so pigmented, are you guys ready? Just one swipe, you know what I mean? Like, so using just a very light hand with this, oh my gosh, yeah, it's crazy. Um, you get a perfect, just like really awesome flush of color on your cheeks. I'm going to put this on right now because I'm not wearing any blush. All you really have to do is tap it in just a little bit. I'm just going to kind of slowly put this on because I don't want to make it too bright. But I do want you guys to see the gorgeous color. Do you guys see that? It's so pretty. It looks like very purple in the pan. But when you put on the cheeks, it's not like that at all. It's like pinky purpley. If that makes any sense. But, oh yeah, totally gorgeous. I think I put too much on. But that's okay. Okay, so that's it for my December favorites. It's going to be the new year. Um, I don't think I'll see you guys until the new year. So, happy new year to everyone. I hope you guys have a safe and happy New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Please be safe. I know it's a night of celebration, but just... Be careful. If you're drinking or anything like that, either have somebody drive you or pick you up or just stay home and drink or something. So I want all of you guys to be safe and I'll see you guys in the new year. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you so much for an amazing 2013. I'm so excited for 2014. It's just a new year and kind of new beginnings. That's pretty much it. If you guys want to follow my vlog channel, the link will be down below. I have had a lot of you guys, you know, really give me encouraging messages, wanting me to continue my vlogging, like doing it actually every day. Please um, let me know down in the comments below because um, if you guys enjoy it, I want to continue it. And again, have a happy new year and I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> Bye guys. Guys, there's some awesome new things from NYX. Tinted moisturizer, new eyeshadow palettes, some eyeshadow sticks.